Okay, so here we have the next question on the menu today, and it is presenting a f the situation where we have a girl delivering newspapers, uh, newspaper covers, and her route is um, three blocks west, four blocks north, six blocks east, and we're trying to find um, what is her results in displacement and the total distance that she has traveled. Okay, so let's actually draw a diagram of this path that our uh, newspaper deliverer is following. Okay, so right here, let's call this our start point right here. Okay, so uh, the first step in our journey is three blocks to the west. So west is towards the left. So that's one block, two blocks, three blocks. Arrow going this way. Okay, the next step in our journey, four blocks north. Three, four. four blocks north and our next step is six blocks east one two three four five six blocks east okay um, yeah and this is our weather girls path I mean not weather girl newspaper girls path Okay, so the first part of the question is, what is her result in displacement? And um, to represent that on the graph, uh, we just have this situation, okay, maybe in red. The shortest distance between her start and her arrival point, this is our displacement D. And that's a vector, okay, that's real important, it's a vector. So we're going to need a magnitude and a direction. Okay, so let's think about how much she actually tra uh uh, traveled right because she went west initially but she undid some of her west movement by going six blocks east so effectively her east west position is that she is three to the to the east of where she started and our diagram perfectly lines up with that so our x component of our displacement is three blocks and our um, vertical component of it is, well, she traveled four blocks north and never traveled south. So we're just going to have four blocks north as our Y component. DY is four blocks and in the j direction and here in the i direction just so that we're familiar with this this is our x or our i direction and this is our y or our j direction you might not be familiar with this now but you will definitely see it a lot in the future of your um, mathematic journey okay so um, if we know that hey this kind of looks like a right angle triangle doesn't it right if we take a look like that and a look like this this kind of looks like a right angle triangle and we're looking for the distance of this um, hypotenuse here do we know of an easy way to find the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle I sure do I know of my good friend Pythagoras theorem we know that the magnitude of D kind of represented with like these uh, absolute value bars the magnitude of D is we're gonna find the Pythagoras theorem of the X component and the Y component together right because those are the non hypotenuse sides of our right angle triangle so to do that we're gonna put it under the root 3 squared plus 4 squared and I know the result of this is the square root of 25 and that is 5 these uh, 3 4 5 triangle is uh, very common you're actually you're most likely gonna see it a decent amount so um you know it's good to uh stay familiar with this and our units our units are important is going to be blocks now that's one step of our displacement journey but uh displacement is a vector we have the magnitude we also need the direction and our direction is pretty much can be represented by that angle right there how would we find that angle I'm glad you asked. We can just use the power of an inverse tangent, right? We know that the relationship for a right angle triangle between the angle and its opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we know that angle 
has to be the inverse tan, the arc tan, also known as, of the um, opposite over adjacent. So in this case, dy over dx. So our inverse tan of 4 over 3 is going to give us an angle that my calculator will tell me because it's very difficult to do these type of maths in your noggin, but that's why we made calculators. And I got 53.13 uh, degrees. And this is counterclockwise with respect to the positive x-axis that we defined. And to kind of represent what that means, you can draw a little drawing like this just to show that. This is like the direction of the angle. Okay, so um, her displacement is five blocks, 53.13 um, north of east. Um, you can also write this as this, north of east. Okay, that's another way that we could represent this. And that would address the first part of the question. What is the result in displacement? That's beautiful. Okay, the second part of the question, much easier, is what is the total distance that she traveled? And um, this is going to be considerable uh, a lot easier. So we just have to look at every individual step of the journey, see how much distance was covered in that individual step, and then add them up. So our first step is 3. Our second step is 4. And our third step is 6. So our distance traveled... This is just going to be 3 plus 4 plus 6 uh, blocks. Because that's the unit for distance that we're using. Sometimes we use meters. I guess here is where we're going to be using blocks. And uh, quick math, 13. Lucky number. 13 blocks. That is how much our newspaper deliverer traveled. And uh, that's the calculation here. That's awesome. Oh, Thank you.